Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. That's the best. Winner. Winner. Mm-hmm. So good. I'm going with another bite. Hey, I'm James from Soaking at Barbecue, and to celebrate my beloved Buffalo Bills from making it to the Super Bowl, I was supposed to be starting this episode going through this very plastic table, but sadly, it's gonna have to wait for another year. I always get asked, James, what's your favorite wing? And if you follow the channel for a while, you know I'm a big fan of the rotisserie, but there's a couple other methods that come up all the time. So today I'm gonna to attempt to do wings Four ways for a head-to-head, -head, just me cooking today, so sometimes it's hard to get the timing right, but I'm gonna try and turn out four wings at the same time. We're gonna do deep fried, air fried, versus grilled versus the rotisserie. Now, the one thing they're gonna share in common is they're all going to be smoked, and we're gonna try and find out which of these methods helps get us the crispiest skin at the end of the day. Speaking of crispy skin, if you have the time, a great way to improve your crispy skin is to do an overnight dry brine. But if you're doing something the same day, like I'm gonna do for these wings, you can follow this method. And so the method I like to do for a same day wing is start with a buttermilk wet salt brine. So for me, I'm gonna use two liters of buttermilk, add in a half cup of diamond crystal kosher salt, mix those together and leave them in the refrigerator for about anywhere from two to four hours. For my timing today, two and a half hours is gonna work. And after that two and a half hours, I want to rinse off this buttermilk. If there's one thing that does not go together, it's wet, soggy, as well as uh, crispy skin. These two never work out. So we wanna get as much of that buttermilk off by rinsing them off with cold, uh, ice cold water in the sink, patting them dry with paper towel before we apply our dry rub, and then get that in the refrigerator for another couple hours until we are ready to cook wings for dinner to help make sure that we get the crispiest possible result. So the four methods, I'm gonna smoke everything uh, that I can on one grill to keep things consistent. So I'm gonna do an indirect setup on my Kamado Joe Big Joe Series 3 using my heat deflector plates and a couple of pieces of smoking wood to help smoke our wings. And then we're gonna split those into three different categories. One will go in the air fryer, one will go uh, in the deep fryer, the other one we will finish over sort of high heat direct grilling on the Joe Jr. And then one of my personal favorite methods, the jotisserie, we're gonna cook start to finish using the jotisserie. Now that you know all about the wings, let me take you back a little bit earlier. We prepped our wings as well as prep our fires. And when you rejoin me a little bit later on, we'll be ready to dive in for our taste test. Okay, as you can see, we've got our wings dried off and ready to go. So as amazing as buttermilk is at tenderizing and using it as a wet brine with our salt added, it is the enemy of crispy skin. Anything we want crispy, we want dry going into the smoker. So to help get these uh, ready, I just ran them under some ice cold water to help rinse off that buttermilk, put them on paper towel, and did the best job that I could to uh, remove any excess moisture. Now the game plan is to add our rub. So we were total just about two and a half hours in the buttermilk out of our maximum of four. You could go the entire four if you wanted, but I'm gonna opt to try and get a little bit of a dry brine and let these sit in the refrigerator for that last hour and a half to two hours so that our skin is even drier. For our homemade rub, we're just gonna start with an empty container and I'm gonna use the measurement in my pepper cannon uh, as the official <laughs> measuring device here, but this is two tablespoons. So if we were to fill up to the line, it is just about two tablespoons. So if you're following along, I say a full cap, that's two tablespoons, half cap, one tablespoon. I'll take it fast forward while I get some fresh cracked black pepper. Into our container, going to go for equal part salt. Now this is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, diamond crystal kosher salt, which is the least salty uh, in terms of sodium density per gram out of any salt. So if you were using something like refined table salt, you would not want to be doing a, a wet brine, a dry brine, as well as adding a dry rub. But since we were only two and a half hours in the wet brine, we can get away with a little bit extra salt, especially a lower sodium salt like our diamond crystal kosher salt. So in we go, half and half salt and pepper so far. Do one full cap, two tablespoons of garlic, a half cap, one tablespoon of onion powder, the remaining tablespoon of paprika, and about a quarter tablespoon to maximum half tablespoon of cayenne pepper. You can see all our layers there. Let's mix this up really well. And I'm just gonna dust this on and then back in the refrigerator for another hour and a half. Okay, our wings, even after that short little time in a dry brine in the refrigerator are starting to look like they're drying out 
pretty nicely on the outside. So that refrigerator along with salt is definitely doing its trick. So I've broken our wings into four equal piles so that we can keep track of our flats and drums for each cook. Three of these groups are going to be cooking together on my Big Joe Series 3. This is just to neutralize the variables. So I'm gonna be doing more of a hot smoke in the 375 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's to help render some of the skin, get some good clean smoke. If we were to go much lower, we would be subject to potentially getting rubbery skin. And so then uh, the life for these two, two will be going going into different frying. So one will be in our shallow wok fry for a deep fry. The other one will be going into the air fryer and the third set will be uh, being grilled on the Joe Jr. So I've also cleaned that out and lit that using the same technique uh, as I shared before with the Grill Blazer Grill Gun. And the last set here, this is the only one cooking a little bit differently. This will be on the Jotisserie behind me. And so again, uh, clean that out, empty the ash can, put one piece of smoking wood and underneath the coal, cover it up with some fogo, lit it, and we're now running along at 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which we will uh, tumble for the first little bit and then open the vents all the way up, let the flames fly to finish these off. So I've got my basket ready. Let's transfer these over. Since we're broken into a couple groups, we're not taking much space. The Kamado Joe basket can fit about an entire six pounds, no problem. Whereas my Napoleon basket, is it got comfortable sort of the 4.7 to five pounds from Costco. I can take a whole Costco pack, but today this is gonna look like uh, there is ample space. So I'll drop my basket in, drop on the hooks, clip in the basket. Let's go install our Joe Tisserie, get this on. Okay, we're running nice and stable at 300. If you're using like my Big Joe Series 3 with an airlift hinge, you would want to adjust your vents a little bit tighter after we install the Joe Tisserie. But since I'm using the Big Joe Series 1, the weight of the dome itself will give me a good seal and I won't need to make any vent adjustments. Connect our Joe Tisserie, get smoking. Okay, our wings have reached an internal temperature of 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm just gonna get them off into the pan so we can start to move to our finishing techniques. Move our X rack up to the top position as we will use that to start heating up our oil. I'm just gonna dial the vents down a little bit, let that settle. Okay, drop in our wok. Actually, I might go down to the middle tier just till we see what we get for our oil temps. We wanna be about 350, 375. Drop that in and our canola oil. Just enough to cover a couple wings at a time. Woo, stuff is happening fast now. So I'll do my best to record as much as I can juggling a couple live fires and fryers. So as you can hear humming along here in the background, the air fryer is coming up to temperature. Our wok is now preheating with the canola oil looking to come up to temperature. It was about 270 degrees. I'm looking for 375 degrees Fahrenheit in our oil for our deep fried wings. Our jotisserie wings, we've moved to the dome open finishing stages so that we can get some crispiness on the skin. And our Joe Jr. is just coming up to about 400, 450 degrees or so for a grilled wing finish. The plan, just to keep things as consistent as possible so there's no difference in sauces. I love making our own, but we're gonna go for the store-bought stuff. I'll get everything off. I've numbered these uh, one, two, three, four, as well as on the pan so we don't mix anything up. And I'll put it on the screen later on so you can keep track of which is which. Sarah won't know what the numbers mean. You'll have an idea so we can try and see which wing is the ultimate buffalo wing. Okay, let's deep fry our wings. About five minutes, we've got some great looking color on our wings, let's get those off. All right, moving quick, our air fried wings now. And let's go do our grilled wings. All right, our rotisserie wings are ready to come off. And they are looking good. Okay, our grilled wings are nearly there. Let me get the ones that are off done. And I hear our air fryer going off in the background. Let's go get those off. All right, let's toss all of our Wings and sauce right here, so I know where they're going. Number two, these are our grilled wings. Next up, number four, our deep fried wings, our rotisserie wings, and last but not least, number three, our air fried wings. All right, let me go get Sarah for our blind taste test. All right, I made wings. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, they oh. look good. I hope you're hungry. 
I am. All right, let's, uh, so you don't know what's what. Uh, there's numbers on here just so I can keep track okay. and they can keep track. <laughs> uh, but let's start uh, closest to the camera. Okay, and I can't so believe four. I have to eat messy wings on camera. Yeah. That's okay. I'm gonna do that too. <laughs> looks so good. Mm, yum. Just take a bite of each one. Yeah, all right. Maybe I'll finish them later. <laughs> oh, I don't blame you. Okay. We're gonna finish all these later. I had a flat, so I'll do that right. one again. Uh, your moon number two. Yeah, I don't know. How am I going to do this? They're all good. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Yum. Oh, goodness. Now I don't, this is number one, I guess. Number one? Okay. I'm trying to keep up with you. <laughs> you can tell who's from Buffalo. It's true, except you don't have blue cheese. No. No. Mm-hmm. We're a good one. They're good, eh? Mm-hmm. Last one. Last one. Eeny meeny. Okay, here we go. Mm. Mm. Okay. All right. What do you think? Well, they're all good. However, I'm ready yeah. To talk to you. yeah, I need a. Here. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> they're so messy. <gasps> all right. Okay, what do you think? I feel like we're going to disagree. Maybe we will. Uh -oh. okay. I don't know. I don't Based know. on your comments as you're eating, you're like, mm hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that makes sense. I that makes sense. prefer two and three. Okay. However, I'm debating between them. I think I like two best. Two best? Yes. Which was your least favorite? Mm, number four. Number four. Yes. Okay. What about number four? <laughs> what about number Did four? Did I say the wrong answer, no, James? No, there's no wrong answer. <laughs> what was your least favorite? Or uh, think about it. Yeah, the texture and the flavor. I just felt like I didn't get all the, again, the smoke. And so that was overpowering. Uh, so three of these were actually cooked all at the same time with the same smoke. Okay, well then I don't. Including I have no number idea. one. <laughs> including number one. So let me tell you what's what. So number four is our deep fried wing. So they were all okay. smoked. Those ones were finished. Really? They were deep fried. Deep fried. I would have thought I'd like those. Oil temp was about 25 degrees hotter than I wanted. So they okay. did cook a little quick. But to me, again, they actually mute some of the flavor, like the spices for me weren't Yeah, uh, it, the weren't flavor pronounced. didn't come out. And I get they were a bit crispier, but I liked, I don't, I liked the chew better on these ones than that one. Yep, okay. So number three yeah. was the air fryer. <laughs> was it? It was. Okay. So these were well, also- That's good to know. So just like the other ones, they were smoked at the exact same time okay. and finished. Now it is a cool day. <laughs> yes. You're in a jacket. These were the last to come off. Okay. So, so freshest. Don't, yeah. So, yeah. and those were first to yes, come off. True. So uh, yes. as much as I'm trying to uh, get everything ready and manage fires yes. safely, including hot oil. Yeah. It's uh, winter. It is winter. <laughs> and so definitely those were the freshest. Yeah. These were the grilled wings. So finished okay. on the Joe Jr. Just yep. straight and simple. So smoked uh, first really? and then over direct okay. coals for a grilled finish. Okay. And these, uh, which came off second, uh, Longest yes. were the uh, rotisserie wings. Okay, okay, interesting. You, which ones were your favorite? Uh, so I didn't get the best one on here. I got one that looked a little dried out, but I want to actually try a drum. Okay, and I'll just try a drum with you. Fly through one more rotisserie. speedy round. Speedy round, yes. all the drums. Though funny that the deep, I thought I'd like deep fried, but mm. you know. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Don't love the deep fried. No, this rotisserie one, though, the drum I had was good. Mm. Going to grilled? Definitely mm. agree with grilled over head, deep fried. Like, not even close, just doing that. I know, side. right? I feel like the deep fried, it just masked all that flavor you mm -hmm. built up. A mm. lot less flavor. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Try the rotisserie. It is yummy. Now that you do the drum, because sometimes you don't get it mm. on the flat, right? I feel like the rotisserie is better than the on the drum. It's mm. crispier than the grill, mm -hmm. just the grill on its own. Both good though, but mm. the, it's crispier. Do one more in the name of science. Mm. I'm with you on the drums. Right? They're mm -hmm. better than the flats. Mm -hmm. I think the flats got a little dried out. Not that, not to <laughs> be too critical. That's me doing four <laughs> different fires. I think if you're doing just one of these, you can give it your best effort. Mm -hmm. So I think you're tasting the freshness. Yeah, of the air fryer, because no, now, no. There's no flavor in comparison to those two. Based on the drums, mm -hmm. rotisserie I like mm -hmm. best. Mm -hmm. And, no, I'd agree. 
Yeah. Based on the drums. I agree. And it's sitting so they're a bit more even. Yes. I would say rotisserie number one, grill number two. But deep fried still last. I agree. Which number is three. good to know because now why waste your time right. deep frying? Uh, third? Yeah. Fourth. Yes. So all in all, com combining both the flat and mm -hmm. the yes. uh, flat and the drums, yeah. which is your favorite and least favorite? So I, we already agree least favorite. Yes. Least favorite is, okay. So I think I it's tight between grill and rotisserie. I'm with you. I have to say that because with the flat, the grill, but again, like you said, you weren't watching it as close. That's me. Yeah, but the skin was really good on the rotisserie one. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it was good, but no, my favorite number one would be rotisserie number two would be grill. Would you still pick air fryer once you think about clean up inside? You haven't seen what's, <laughs> you haven't seen, you haven't seen what's. <laughs> we'll make Anna do it. <laughs> All right, well, thanks Sarah for joining me for the yes. taste test. Well, that is crazy. It never ceases to amaze me the things that you can tell when you do a side by side taste test. Now, definitely you can see the cold weather and the uh, fog coming out of my breath. So this was a little bit difficult to keep the wings fresh. So I'm sure uh, the margin of difference would be even closer. But between the deep fried and the air fried wings, the thing that was interesting is the deep fried wing was much crispier on the outside, but it seemed to really be lacking flavor, almost to the point where you couldn't really appreciate any of the seasoning, the rubs, the flavor, or even the smoke coming through. The air fried wings didn't get as crispy, but they seemed to preserve everything else really well. So if you're in a pinch, you're traveling to the big game, this might be a great way to smoke wings in advance take them to your destination, heat up the air fryer, and just finish them and get a great result. And those showed up really well today. And that's exactly how I'd plan to use this in the future, where I could smoke something ahead of time, maybe vac seal them, pack them up, take them with me, and then reheat them in the air fryer for a finish and get a great result. That really did a nice job of honoring the smoke, the seasoning, and getting some fairly crispy results. But if you're not going on the road and you've got the choice at home, the jotisserie and the grilled options, these have always been neck and neck for me in my top two favorite. And I actually end up preferring the rotisserie, even though today I don't think my attention span did it the best job but there is nothing wrong with the flavors that you get either method here, whether you go for the grilled wing or you go for the rotisserie basket where I needed a, a little bit more of the drum to showcase the flavor that you get from the rotisserie when both Sarah and I tasted that, that immediately rose to the top. So hopefully that gives you some insights for your wing cook on the big day. If you have any other questions or comments, things you'd like to see in future videos, let me know down in the comments. If you don't wanna wait for the comments, feel free to jump into my next members live where we go one-on-one -on -one answer questions in a real-time format versus these pre-recorded videos. That's it for today though. I'm James from Barbecue, signing off. Thank you.